Hi everyone, I am Shannon Garrett and I'm the librarian for Mesa. And this video is just going to explain how the library is operating in our hybrid schedule. So we're so excited to see you, even if it's six feet away with the mask on, uh, but we have some information for you. Uh, we have a change in our staff. Jen Martinez will be uh, our AV and reservation uh, EA, while Laura will be taking over circulation from Teresa. So you'll see Laura at the front desk and Jen, if you haven't met her yet, will be handling all the equipment reservations. So I've included calendars. So anytime I'm available or Laura or Jen are available will be in this calendar. And then equipment availability. So anytime our TVs are checked out, we'll put them in this calendar so you can see what's available and what's not. Remember that in order to reserve equipment, you fill out the online form. I've added the link right here, but you can also find the link in the library page of the website labeled Staff Equipment Checkout. And remember the password is Grizzlies, so it looks like this big purple button. I will be putting information resources for the staff in the Staff Schoology course. This will be information on how to access the catalog, how to do overdrive, how to do EBSCO, um, and this will be teacher resources. Uh, once I have time, I'll add those resources to the Schoology page. Anything built for students to help students will be on our library page of the website. And then our EBSCO password has been changed, so make sure you write this down. And then the Encyclopedia Britannica remained the same. Just a reminder that staff book checkout you guys are allowed to check out books throughout the year and you have the full year to check them out. You can see our full collection using our library co or library catalog. It's named Destiny and I've put the link right here. If you log in using your Google information, you can place holds and we can deliver them to you. And we are also connected to Security Public Library and their consortium so we can request material from them. So if we don't have it, but security has it, we can pull it for you. And if you are interested in ebooks, please check out our Sora collection. This is a document that tells you how to set up Sora and then how to connect your Sora app to Security Public Library's uh, OverDrive ebook collection. So this is the important part for commuter, computers and equipment this year. We have no cows for class checkout, but we have three cows for individual student checkout. This means that students who forgot their computer, students who have a desktop and just need a computer for the day, uh, students who have technical problems that can't be fixed easily can come to the library to check out a computer. Uh, we are asking you to push or to let students know that if they need know they need a computer uh, before class starts, that they come in before first block and check out that computer. They will check out with Jen at her office door by the book drop in front of the library they won't be coming into the library to check these out. It'll be right at the entrance. And these computers are for in-school use checkout only. So they will not be able to take these home. We are asking that if you have students that ride the bus, if they tell you they need to leave five minutes early to return these computers, please let them do so. Uh, we will email individual teachers um, whose students have checked out computers uh, to let them know but we're asking you give them some time so they don't miss the bus, but they also return our expensive devices. Uh, when we run out of computers, and hopefully we won't, I will email teachers and there will be a sign on the door. Hopefully we not, we don't need over a hundred people checking out computers, but we'll see. Uh, like I said at the beginning, equipment checkout is going to remain the same. Uh, the only difference is we won't be coming into classes. We will be delivering and picking up at your door. So we're asking that you, at five minutes before the end of class, please put any equipment that you need to return outside of your door so we don't have our student assistants or us coming into your classroom. Uh, and you won't be able to check out cows. So we're asking for your help because of the cohorts and because a lot of students are online, we are down on our student assistants. So Jen, Laura, and I will be doing a lot of the delivery and pickup. So if you could just at the five minute mark, help us out so we can uh, get things delivered on time, we would really appreciate it. Now for library usage and book checkouts, the library is gonna be closed during advisory and lunch to all students, unless they have an advisory in the library. And we're not doing classroom visits to the library. So I know in the past we will let you send down 
three students on one pass and things like that. Um, but please only send one student down at a time for right now. Uh, student Individual students may come to the library and they can still use our desktop computers, print, check out a book, things like that. Um, please use an all-in-one pass or please inform us of what pass system you are using so we can track them as they come into the library. And then the important part, book checkouts. So we're not doing class visits to check out books, but we are doing uh, book delivery. So starting next week, not this week, we are trying to get the schedule uh, cleared this week, trying to figure out where our student assistants are gonna come in this week. Uh, so starting next week, students can check out books using the book checkout form. They can look through the online catalog, which I'll link here, and they can fill out this form, the book checkout form. Uh, we ask that they give us their class teacher and then their advisory teacher, just so we can ensure that they get their book. We will pull the books and deliver that uh, those books to your class or their advisory they're on their next in-person day. So for this, we do not have the manpower to deliver day of. So please be conscious in your planning that once you have your students use this checkout form, they won't be getting those books until the next day. So note for the first two weeks of hybrid, this may take some time because they're only coming in once a day. So we will deliver books outside of your class. They will already be checked out to their students and their, your students can just grab it and go. Uh, if this is too much of a process, we are uh, allowing you guys to have a cart filled with a random assortment of books. Uh, you can request different genres and things like that, um, and you can just check out while in your classroom, but just note that you will be responsible for checking those out and tracking where they go and which students have them. For the library space, we have limited seating due to social distancing. So we have 15 desktops and 20 study spots. So once we reach capacity, we will send students away. So I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, please come to me, Laura or Jen, we'd be happy to answer. If you want to see if we can accommodate something that the library has provided in a normal setting, please come talk to us. We're trying to make this work as best as possible and we are more than willing to troubleshoot and figure out how we can help you the best. Have a great week.